stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I wanted to show you a little tutorial using the irresistibly floral designer series paper. This card is by far my favorite. I just, I'm so excited with the way it turned out. I love the color combination of tip top taupe and flirty flamingo. I love that rustic, slightly, um, you know, brown background, but then I left some of it staying white. And of course you can see those nice little um, shiny embossed lines across the back there and then the little wispy twig there in the background and the greeting. The greeting is just so amazing. Spread the love with a little bit of linen thread. So I just wanted to show you how I got this fabulous look. So I started with a piece of three and three quarters by five inch of the designer series paper and this is the um, the triangle piece and I took my sponge brayer and just so you know with these sponge brayers they come with two handles and four of the sponges and so you can interchange them for different colors you can even um, wash these just run them under water squeeze them out a few times until they run clean and then let them dry I usually um, put them on the vents so that they dry a little bit faster so I can use them again. Um, but if you're working on a project, you can always use it for a little bit, switch to a darker color um, if you're using light colors and dark colors and, um, and it works just fine. You'll see that there's some pink spots on here and I do have one that I use with Melon Mambo that I think is permanently stained pink. Um, but I still washed it out and so I could always use you know any other shade of pink that I wanted with that one as well. Of course, you could always just buy oodles and oodles of these, one for every color, too. So I have my tip top taupe, and I'm just going to lightly run it over the tip top taupe ink pad. And you'll look at it, and it really doesn't look that much different. It has that light little hint, but it's not going to cover and be like a solid sponge of color. So don't be expecting that. So just lightly go over it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle and brush out. So I'm just going to kind of you know, kind of little whimsy looks and just kind of brush out. I'm not really, um, you know, going for a full coverage look. I'm just, you know, adding mostly to that middle and then just kind of getting a little dusty on the outside. And now that I've done that, and I'm not gonna go back to my ink, but I'm just going to lightly go over the whole thing. Okay, I feel like I wanna go over a little bit more. Here, I'm gonna take some of it off and then go over the whole thing all over again, just for a little bit of like a dirty look. I want it to look a little bit worn. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and, um, and wipe over the top of it. This gets any excess ink off of um, the spots that are embossed. So you can see how those triangles are really popping out now. For some reason my Kleenex is like molting on me. I guess I've used it too much. So now you'll see how it just kind of has a little like of a dirty look on the edges and then it's quite filled in the middle, but that's where my image is going to go. So I don't care that it's a little too dark or anything in the middle because that will be covered up. Then I have the, um, the floral image from the Jar of Love stamp set. So that's this one here. And I'm using this long floral twig. I don't know, since I'm doing it in brown, I don't feel like it's very leafy um, or greenery because it's brown um, and so it's more like a twig. But you can call it whatever you would like. So I'm just going to ink it up in the tip top taupe and I'm going to stamp um, corner to corner. So this one's gonna go down here and then I'm also going to do another one and I made sure not to ink the full piece here but if you happen to do that just kind of pull it to the side and then I'm going to do this corner. And so then you have those fabulous little twigs and then I'm going to bring in my Kleenex again. Paper towel would probably work a little bit better. And I'm going to wipe off those lines because you can see that that image is almost complete but then I'm going to wipe off the lines so that it almost looks like you're looking through a, a fence or something that has the twigs on the background. And then after that, I just took the two images from that same jar of love stamp set. I used the word love and stamped it in flirty flamingo. And I used the word, let's see, spread the. So spread the love. I stamped it down in tip top taupe flirty flamingo 
and I punched it out with the decorative label punch, one of my favorites, and then I actually punched a second one in the Flirty Flamingo, cut it in half, added a layer to the top and to the bottom, and then I did the little linen thread loops on the back and added it to my card with Stampin' Dimensionals. So isn't that super fabulous and the different looks that you can get with the Irresistibly Floral Designer Series paper. I've had so much fun with it. You can color it with sponge brayers, with sponge daubers, uh, with spritzers. You can even use stamping. Uh, there's just so many wonderful ways that you can color it and have lots of fun to use it on your project. So don't forget to overlook that um, whenever you're looking through the catalog because in the catalog it does just kind of look like white paper and it can be a little confusing. So it is the Irresistibly Floral and you can find that on page 172 in the new 2016-2017 catalog. Of course I'll be posting other uh, tutorials on different pieces of paper that I use from that pack uh, on my blog as well as full samples of this and photos at laurastamppad.com so you can check that out there. Of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. I post every Tuesday and Thursday and I'll see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.